Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of the Farmer Contractor. In today's episode, we're shifting some silage. We have a great big low loader coming with something on it, especially for me. And we've got some fruit to sell. Let's go. Well, hello everybody. Welcome back along to the Farmer Contractor series on Greenland's Farm. We are in January, so Happy New Year. We have been riding out the winter, just servicing machines up, really not too much else that we can do at the moment. And today we're selling off a trailer of silage bales. Not too many, we want to keep enough around so we have uh, plenty in stock for ourselves. Uh, but yeah, we had the opportunity to sell just one trailer, I think got about 10 on the back. Uh, and that will be fine. And so yeah, we're gonna get rid of those. We've got another new implement arriving at the yard. I'm waiting for a phone call, which no doubt I will receive when I'm as far away from the yard as possible for a lovely bit of new equipment that's gonna be on the back of the 936 very soon. And today is all about just really tightening everything else up, making sure all of the uh, the production depot is singing and, and ticking along perfectly because we have the time. It's just me again today. Uh, gave all of the team an extended vacation at the moment just because there's nothing else to do really. Uh, contracts are all off. It's early, early January, so really uh, until the middle of next week, then we won't properly get going. So we're just taking it a bit slower today, which is never a bad thing. And uh, the lads before Christmas and the New Year actually did a really strong job of just going through and continuing to service over most of our gear. And that's been really, really beneficial just to make sure we're all looking good there. The biggest cultivator that we have is currently still in the shop. It's just had the all new metal points put onto it all, but it's, it looks really good for it now. So I'm happy with that. Uh, now we're going to be coming back at some point today and I might actually bring one of the classics down for a bit of a, uh, a rumble through uh, just to move some trailers around down here really. So might have to bring the, uh, the Ford along for a ride. There's some more projects that we need to take away. Uh, but yeah, everything's good. That's been really working quite well, actually. We just need to spend a little bit of time down there and make sure that's all looking good. Uh, but aside from that, yeah, we are in great shape, actually. And uh, starting just to get ourselves ready for what the, the contracts may look like in the, the coming few weeks and months. Um, I was actually looking into seeing about the possibility of getting some roadside maintenance contracts, but couldn't find any good um, options for hiring and machinery that we need so we're gonna hold off on that for now maybe look to position ourselves for that next year we ripped up on the um, one of our wraps for the bail here because it was torn when we picked it up I'm gonna find the man who's gonna unload us here anyway and then we'll get this done and see what our next step is and wouldn't you just know it I was right halfway through and loading there where i couldn't leave the phone call arrives there is a truck back at the yard so we're gonna have to zip our way back on over there uh and we will get that all picked up uh, for our own perspective there this this all uh, spring sorry we're gonna be plowing over one field of grass uh, and putting that into some spring barley we've got like cover crop land as well that we will be putting into uh some might go into spring oats but most will likely go into spring barley but the cover crop is looking good anyway. It's really looking pretty handy. Uh, so we'll keep an eye on that one. Yeah, we're, we're in a great position so far. Very, uh, I mean, we don't have too much of our own arable land. Obviously, our main focus is always going to be around what our contract work looks like. Uh, and that's starting to look pretty healthy as well. Getting some regular customers coming in. Stubble to stubble contracts as well as just hired work. So that's always fantastic uh, to see that one coming through. Uh, we are expected to receive i've got a bit of an interesting job lined up for next week actually there and we're hiring in a bit of equipment that we don't own and no idea how it's going to fare out so we want to just hire it in to begin with just to test it really and see if there's anything that we uh if there's any value in its own there something i've never thought about having to do before but because the the farmer in question is going to be putting in some vegetables there we want to be able to um to incorporate some organic matter a little bit better so we're gonna have a try at that uh, I'm not sure which machine is going to go into or indeed what that will look like, but we will find that out in uh, in due course. Uh, but now, now we've got to go and pick something up, which is mighty impressive. Very big, very impressive bit of equipment there that I've had my eye on for a while. Um, and I never really thought it would work out. Part of me might think we've already, we part, ex uh, part exchanged uh, a bit of equipment and we might be selling something else as a result of it. But what I want to see is how we get on over the, uh, over the spring. And, uh, and we'll, we'll make a, a best judgment call off the back of that. But yeah, it's uh, ex it's exciting. And uh, I can't wait to show you it. And it's going to look really, really good. It's going to have to go on my 936, which I'm fine with. 
Um, but yeah, it's going to be very, very interesting to see how it performs. Uh, now, I fancy. Is there a truck there? There is. Let's just stick you here for now then. Okay. Well, all right. And so, without any more cryptic clues, here it is. And good lord, is it just a beast? Uh, now we have gone. This is a one pass system. This is by uh, a company called uh, Mag or M A A G, uh, and this is their Culty Rabbit. It's a one pass system. Think along the lines of your Simba solos and your one pass systems from uh, the, I think the Simba planes. I think they're called. Uh, but we have discs on the front to incorporate organic matter. You got your subsoil and legs, uh, which you are adjustable. So depending upon how deep you want to go down, break up that pan, you can. And then you got a, a packer roller and press on the back as well. Uh, this is going to allow us to, in theory, get rid of one of our plows uh, if we choose to, and if there's uh, enough, uh, if we, if I see that you know there's enough of an opportunity there to do so. But it's just huge. Now, because it's big, it's going to take quite some pulling. Uh, we're looking at around about 330, 340 horsepower. So there's only one tractor in the fleet that it can go on. But I think it's going to look mighty impressive when it's on there. I'm sure you'll agree. Uh, let's look at uh, getting out the the big girl. Everything else can be tucked up for the winter, really. Just doing bits and pieces here and there. Not too much, but... Uh, yeah, it's, it's been good. Uh, Everything is kind of serviced up and I'm happy with where all the machinery is. The frontline equipment especially is all looking good. And as you'll see just inside the window in the workshop here, beg your pardon, we have the big cult, the way it's having all the points redone and a bit of touch at work as well. Uh, if you look after your equipment, your equipment will always look after you. So that's always what we try and do when it quietens down. Uh, now, what I do need to do is actually just stop here for a second and see where the driver's going to get these straps all and done. That'll be a benefit. All right, well, I think we're just going to hook on up and then slowly pull this thing off, really be fine yeah, the idea is that we can become that bit more efficient we can do everything in one pass there and get a, get a good seed bed ready to go into that would be ideal and I'm hoping that's going to be possible alright so I have it plumbed in and I have it hooked on there just look at that thing isn't it just huge uh, good news as well I've been trying for ages to get the registration on the fence changed uh, we originally bought this from Germany which is why it's showing uh, the European plates on there and that is hopefully about to be registered in the UK which is good it's gonna cost me a little bit to do so but we're nearly done so uh, we should get some of my own plates on here soon enough Ooh, easy just take this down nice and slowly Unfortunately, we haven't got any ground to go and test this on right now. That would be an epic if we did, but we don't. So uh, we'll have to leave it for now. I don't think when we get onto the there's a uh, on the grass field that we're going to plow in. I think that will have to be plowed just given the nature of the quantity of organic material on top. But what we might be able to do after that is just come along, lift out the um, the subsoil legs, lift them up nice and shallow, and then just give this a one pass over as well. Because that could work out very well indeed. Uh, all right, so now this is gonna have to require a bit of a weight on the front just to give us a bit more traction on the front end. Uh, but we have plenty of weight blocks around here, and this is gonna set us up perfectly. What we're gonna do is just stick it around this corner. We'll have a bit of a look at it. We'll get this lorry driver out of here because he's taking up my yard space. Uh, there you go. Doesn't look like a big piece of equipment when it's on the back when it's all folded up, it's four meters wide. It's not the widest in the world, but it is going to be quite the land anchor to pull. So uh, that would be why. Uh, all right. So we'll leave this here for now. Get him out of the way and come and have a look at it. Well, as you can see, it is spanking brand new. It hasn't done a bit of work. Uh, I saw a demo. I actually went to go to a, a demo event where we got to see one of these in action. It was being pulled by an 8RX, I think it was. Um, and it was, uh, yeah, very impressive bit of kit and work. Now, 
I think I have everything set up on the uh, on the spool valves properly. So we're gonna go have a look at that and see. So what we want to do is we're just gonna unfold this first time around. Uh, let's see how that goes. There you go. Now I have it set up so that one spool valve unfolds the front. So in theory, I could use it like this. I could lower it down. I could use it with just the discs and the subsoil on there if I wanted to, but we don't want to do that. We want to use the second spool valve and roll those down. There you go. That's quite a bit of equipment. Uh, so yeah, look at the. These are fully adjustable from a spool valve in the cab there as well. So if we don't need to go quite so deep, I can uh, adjust all that up. Plenty of uh, oscillating discs there as well. So it does mulch up any organic matter. So it's going to leave everything in a really good condition, ready to go straight into with our Pottinger Direct Drill, which would be great. So can't wait for everyone to see that. It's quite a bit of equipment, as I'm sure you will agree. Looks the part on the fence there as well. Stick a weight block on the front of that, and we are going to be cooking with gas. Um, does kind of make me want to have a quad tractor even though you know lord knows i can't afford one and that's never going to happen but would look the part in the back of one of those sets as well i'm going to shut this up for now because i actually need to uh we need to go and take a bit of a drive i'm going to choose a weapon of choice probably one the old the old ford there i fancy and we're going to go for a little bit of a drive to our shed, we do need to get some more machinery in here i think the tractors will stay in here we're going to have to soon because the uh that said, I'll fill up with grain in about four or five months' time. Uh, but let's go. We're just going to shunt a trailer around. I feel like these haven't been out for a little bit. So we're going to take the Ford out for a little bit of a run. Oh, you listen to that. Uh, it'll just be good. It'll let, it, let it burn off of the, some of the cobwebs there. Just going to shift the trailer around, really. Uh, and then while we're down there, we're going to do a little bit of work with our... Uh, this tally loader down there as well. I love the sound of this thing. It's absolutely fantastic. It really, really is. It's always nice to get them out and about for a little bit. Looking for some tractor runs and events to take these two as well. If you, if you know of anything, do let us know what that looks like. And uh, we'll definitely see what we can do. and stuff and we're away perfect so we're gonna go and continue to shift a few things around down at the production depot uh, i just wanted to show you the new delivery there and really sure there's not too much else happening in this january so all is still quiet until we hear or see more coming in from the contracts we're just gonna keep things ticking along really uh, and then until the next time though we're gonna have a play around with that uh coffee rapid and see how we get on there with an i36 so we shall see you in the next one i hope you have enjoyed if you haven't yet to do so do hit that like button, subscribe for more from Simulation for the Nation, and we'll see you all in the next one. Catch you later.